Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to be putting a rear wheel bearings, inner and outer, in a 96 Geo Metro. Uh, this is what the wheel bearings look like. The inner wheel bearing is the bigger one, and the outer wheel bearing is the second one. Alright, uh, to take the wheel off, you're going to need a 19 millimeter or a 3 quarter inch socket will work. Alright, uh, second thing, once you get the wheel off, you're going to want to make sure your parking brake isn't on. Um, and then you're going to want to take the center dust cap off. Uh, you can either use a pry bar, or I got a pry bar, but a screwdriver and a hammer will work too. Alright, All right. Uh, then once you get that dust cap off, there's a, there's a 21 millimeter nut that actually holds the drum on, so you want to zip that off. Okay, and uh, with this nut, as you can see, it's kind of messed up. Um, you really shouldn't reuse these, uh, but if you do, I mean, I've reused them. This isn't my first time replacing these bearings. But if you can, from the auto parts store, see if they can get you one of these. Uh, they can. If I, if I find the part number, I might put it in the description. If not, uh, sorry about that. But they're, they're easy enough to source. All right, uh, after you get that nut off, uh, there's a washer. You want to keep it right here you want to keep that washer um, your drum might not just come off this one actually didn't just come off I didn't put it in the video because that makes it kind of boring uh, you want to take a hammer and give it a few good whacks if that doesn't work uh, then I advise that you take something like a ham or a, a pry bar or a screwdriver and you can come in on the back edge of the drum and hit it from back here uh, which I did and then this is what you're going to be working with. That's the inner bearing, and that is the outer bearing, and I'll show you how to get it out. All right, so uh, I start off doing the outer bearing. How I get that outer bearing out is if uh, you look in there, you can see the, I guess, the inner race of the bearing, and you want to be able to hit something on it, and I use a socket. In my case, a 17 millimeter fits in there perfectly where it's going to hit and knock that bearing out. All right, so I took uh, my 17 millimeter and I got it in there. I'm gonna take a hammer. And as you can see, it knocked my bearing out. All right, uh, to get the inner bearing out, I use a 29 millimeter socket because that's that's what fits in there and I hold it off to the side and and there's your inner bearing alright uh, then you're gonna put your inner bearing back in uh, you want the grease or the, you want the dust cap to the outside so it keeps dust out and for this I have an inch and a half socket which matches the diameter of that so it keeps the pressure off of the actual bearing itself and there's your inner bearing alright uh, and I don't know if I probably haven't mentioned this in the video yet but there's a collar that came and it, it goes in between the inner and the outer bearing it goes with the closed end to the outside so as you can see that's the closed end, that's the open end. Uh, like I said, you want the closed end facing away from the vehicle. So that goes in just like that. All right, and then uh, your outer bearing right there. Once again, like I said, you want that dust seal to be on the outside. And the socket that I found might not work for you, but it works for me, is a 35 millimeter matches the outside diameter of it. She's ready to go back on the car. All right, and then.
And then, uh, simple enough, you uh, take your, your drum and the bearings. Push them back on. All right, once you get your drum back on, uh, you're going to put your washer on and that nut that you should replace. I'm not replacing it. Uh, and then you're going to want to torque it to 74 foot-pounds. All right, and uh, once you torque your nut to 74 fo uh, foot-pounds, which uh, you, you really ought to torque that, because um, if it's too tight, it'll put too much preload on the bearing, and the bearing will wear out too quick. If it's uh, too loose, I mean, like I said, it's too much lash in the bearing. Uh, and this particular nut, like I said, I'm not replacing mine, but I accept responsibility. I'm the only one who drives this car. Uh, I'm, I think this nut will be fine. You want to take either a pry bar, like I got, which is made to be struck on, or you can take a screwdriver, and this is a strike nut. There's a little cutout in the spindle that you want to take something and give it a couple whacks that way the, the nut can't back off all right next up take your dust cap and uh, put it on all right last uh, last but not least you take your tire and you uh, put it back on and tighten your lug nuts up and uh, after you get the wheels tight, that's, that's the last step of the process.